So we're going to look at a, the GPIO port of uh, Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi B revision 2. And um, here's the uh, GPIO port. GPIO port and take a look. Pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 25 and 26. GPIO port. And then uh, you can get a connector for about three dollars from uh, Element Fourteen uh, website. Uh, those guys make the uh, motherboard here. Or uh, if you don't want to spend the money, you can uh, butcher a uh, old connector, like a uh, an IDE connector or a floppy disk connector. An old floppy disk or ID connector here. Okay. Here's an ID connector. It's got 40 uh, pins. This one's got 80 uh, connect. It's an 80 uh, wire. 80 wires, but it's like 40 pins. Uh, this one might be better. If you have an old floppy disk drive uh, connector, this might be better because it only has you know, much less, like 20 pins or whatever it is. And it's only a few pins more than the uh, 26 pins uh, coming out of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So this would be a better bet. You can just connect one of these guys here. And it'll, it'll, sh you know, it'll overshoot by a bunch of pins. <clears throat> this one's a little odd. But uh, let me sh take it apart for you. And all we need to do, all we need is one tool knife. So I'm just going to pry it open. Okay, I'm just going to pry that open. So that's the uh, part here. Cover, just got rid of that. And what's on the other side? You see that? It's just uh, pushed in there. Just all, all the wires just punched down. You see these little pins here. I think I do just rip them off. And when you're ready to use them, you just strip. It out. And so, yeah, you just trip it up the finger. Yeah. And you can carefully plug it in. So 
So be very careful plugging in. I try to just use uh, an insulator. Insulate the bottom here. And just plug it in. That's it. I might save myself three dollars and shipping. Of course, can take a few days to ship it here, so I save myself shipping and uh, so more than three dollars, three dollars for the cable and whatever the shipping is, like five dollars or whatever. So I save myself ten bucks by making my own. I got a bag full of these. Yeah, tons of these. I don't even know what to do with all these cables. What am I going to do with all these cables? How many cables I got in there? What am I going to do with them? So, if I, uh, if I get 20 Raspberry Pis, I'll have uh, 20 uh, GPIO cables here. Yeah.